speaking of the richest and most powerful people in the world, such as heads of state, superstar, and technology company bosses worth over 100 million, they may seem to walk confidently, but in fact there are also moments of uneasiness in their hearts. The more power they hold and the more wealth they accumulate, the more they will cherish their own lives. Their spending on security is also rising steadily. What major steps have they taken to protect themselves? Are some seemingly huge expenditures really necessary? In this video, let's explore together the 15 powerful people in the world and see how they protect themselves. Hello everyone, this is Top You Channel. Number 15, Elizabeth II. The full name of the late Queen Elizabeth II is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. She was born on April 21, 1926. She is the eldest daughter of the late King George VI. During World War II, Elizabeth, who was only 14 years old, had already given public speeches on the radio. In 1947, she married Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and was crowned as Queen of the Commonwealth of Nations five years later in May 1952. Before that, they had two children, Charles and Anne. After becoming queen, she gave birth to Andrew and Edward one after another. In 2020, Elizabeth II has been in office for 68 years. So are you also curious about how the security of the British royal family is implemented? First of all, every time she attends an event, the queen will have personal bodyguards and a group of security guards. In the queen's daily life, she also has a whole distinctive king's guard escort. These soldiers were all selected from the elite units of the British Army, and their main duty was to guard the residences of royal family members. However, since the 1980s, there have been successive incidents of people using paragliders or climbing sewer pipes to enter Buckingham Palace illegally, and the security work of the palace has also been further upgraded. Not only has the guard duty in the palace become 24-hour non-stop duty, the Metropolitan Police Service has also dedicated more than 200 police officers to be responsible for the safety of the main royal family and corps personnel. Didn't think of it? It turns out that Buckingham Palace has only been heavily guarded for nearly 40 years. During this period, the British royal family frequently appeared in popular searches. What do you think? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area. Number 14, Trump. When it comes to Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, you must be familiar with it, right? He was sworn in as president in July 2017 and has since become one of the most important figures in the world, wielding a variety of powers and central to national power. Having said that, there is a group of people who can dictate to him, arrange where he goes and where he lives, and even control what he eats. They are the agents of the United States Secret Service. They follow the president wherever he goes, almost are inseparable. For daily travel, if it is a short distance, Trump has a luxury bulletproof car, and if it is a long distance, he has the Air Force One presidential plane. If Trump wants to visit a certain place, the USSS will send a police dog team there first, and let the explosion-proof dogs help to clear the mines first. Even in the event of an emergency requiring a blood transfusion to the president, his security personnel were able to deal with it calmly. In short, they will always be fully prepared one step ahead. When Trump visits abroad, there will be as many as six Boeing C-17 aircraft in the presidential fleet to accompany him. These planes can carry a total of 37 cars, including the president's special luxury car, and there will be several helicopters for him in the local area use when traveling. Security for the President of the United States is never easy, and it's expensive. According to statistics, during the Obama administration, the security costs of business trips were as high as 97 million US dollars. However, it is reported that President Trump has only been in office for one month, and has flown to Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, 
Florida, which he owns three times, for the weekend. From this point of view, it is very simple to surpass Obama. Number 13, Mark Elliott Zuckerberg. The most famous identity of American internet entrepreneur Mark Zuckerberg should be the founder of Facebook. In 2004, Zuckerberg, who was still studying at Harvard at the time, created this social networking site with two roommates. As of 2012, the site users had exceeded 1 billion. In that year, Zuckerberg rang the bell of Nasdaq, Facebook officially listed. Now that people rely more and more on Facebook, Zuckerberg's net worth is also rising, which is close to 54 billion US dollars. However, tall trees catch much wind, he brings revenue to Facebook, but in terms of security, he also makes the company pay a lot. According to statistics, in 2017 and 2018, Facebook paid CEO Zuckerberg $13 million and $22 million for security, respectively. Nowadays, the founders of many technology giants are members of the $1 club. Zuckerberg is also keeping up with the trend. Although he is already the youngest billionaire in the world, he receives a basic salary of $1 a year and does not take bonuses or equity at all. Incentives and other incentive pay, however, as can be seen from Facebook's financial report, Zuckerberg's 2018 salary was $22.6 million, more than double the $9.1 million in 2017. The company said the increased sums were part of Zuckerberg's security budget, which Zuckerberg has used to hire personal bodyguards and another 16 security guards who rotate around his $7 million San Francisco mansion. Some friends may ask, is this a bit of a fuss? But not so, due to Zuckerberg's special status. He has become synonymous with Facebook, and many users will vent their negative emotions towards Facebook on him. Because of this, the company has to strengthen his personal protection. Even Zuckerberg's neighbors are complaining. Having complained that Zuckerberg has allowed his bodyguards to illegally and permanently occupy two neighborhood parking spaces. In addition, the noise from his frequent renovations of the cottage is so disturbing that it looks like going to heat again. Number 12, Putin. Vladimir Putin has served two terms of Russian president and two terms of prime minister. In May 2012, he started the third round of the presidency. However, Putin's career actually started as early as 1991. At that time, on the eve of the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Putin left KGB and served as the chairman of the International Liaison Committee of the city of Leningrad. It has laid a solid foundation for calling the wind and rain on the political arena. So, what are the security measures for this tough guy? The answer is that he has an elite division, Kremlin Regiment. Usually Putin's security force consists of four teams, the first team is bodyguards. The second team is responsible for lurking observation in public places, the third team is responsible for surrounding the surrounding area, and the last team is composed of snipers deployed on the top of the building composition. The recruitment of personnel is in the charge of the Presidential Security Bureau. They will carry out selections across the country almost every six months. The focus is on those special forces members who have participated in many actual combats. They can only join after passing the screening. Kremlin Regiment and directly led by Putin. In addition to protecting the safety of the president and his family, they also need to protect the safety of the Prime Minister, State Duma and other high-level personnel. On April 5, 2016, Putin also officially signed a legal document authorizing the establishment of the National Guard of Russia, which is responsible for maintaining order and ensuring the stability of the president, while also giving them new functions to participate in anti-terrorism and fighting crime. This team has more than 200,000 elites alone, plus 340,000 other personnel from various departments. 
The commander-in-chief is Viktor Zolotov, who has been Putin's bodyguard for more than 20 years. He is Putin the savior of Putin is the most trusted person of Putin, who has smashed the assassination of Putin eight times. Number 11, Tom Cruise. American film actor and producer Tom Cruise is a household name. According to statistics, his name is the most searched on Google, which is enough to prove its popularity, so it is natural to be very cautious in terms of security. Not only was Cruz willing to spend money to find the best bodyguards in the industry, but he also didn't forget his ex-wife and young daughter. Basically, they would be protected by special personnel wherever they went. He thought he had dealt with paparazzi for so many years, and he still he still needs bodyguards to protect him. Let alone his inexperienced daughter. So he spent a lot of money to hire four well-trained followers to protect her around the clock, spending up to $50,000 a week. The main task of this group of bodyguards is to protect the privacy of his daughter Suri Cruz and help her circumvent any potential threats, although there is news that recently his relationship with his daughter is not as close as before, but still does not affect his own way of expressing fatherly love. It is said that even in his own home, Cruz implements a set of militarized management methods, such as not allowing staff to set foot in specific areas of his home, conducting super detailed background checks on potential new employees, etc., but this cannot blame him, who made him a Hollywood superstar that everyone loves. Number 10, Bill Gates. Who would have thought that Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft who has been the richest man in the world for 13 consecutive years, realized the importance of security because of a cake bomb. It happened in February 1998, when Bill Gates was attending an event in Brussels, Belgium. When he was about to go in to give a speech, a man burst out of the crowd and smashed a cake on his face, causing there was white cream all over his body, and he was in a mess. Although after the investigation, it was found that the strange man was just a clown who wanted to become famous by attacking the rich. But this incident suddenly woke up Bill Gates. He realized how inadequate his security team was. So he immediately decided to fire all the bodyguards around him and spent a lot of money to hire a new security team. In addition, he also strengthened the security work of the Microsoft building in the daily office and installed bulletproof glass in the offices of core personnel. Not to mention his private domain. In his mansion on the shores of Lake Washington in Seattle, it is not only protected by electronic fences, but also equipped with heat detectors, which can detect anyone who breaks in within one kilometer. Whether going out or visiting developing countries, there will always be a large-scale security team accompanying you. As a person worth over 100 billion US dollars, it is always right to be careful. Number 9, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Since the American Queen Beyonce held a concert in Brazil in 2013 and was pulled off the stage by a shirtless male fan, her husband Jay-Z made up his mind to give her a big upgrade in security and hired five former CIA agents, join Beyonce's existing close security team. After that, Beyonce was accompanied by 10 bodyguards on tour or regular performances, and Jay-Z also purchased two bulletproof SUVs of the same model as Obama worth $4 million for their daily travel. Beyonce and Jay-Z One is a music queen who has sold more than 100 million records worldwide and won 22 Grammy Awards, and the other is a top rapper and an outstanding music producer in the United States. Their combined net worth is nearly 1.5 billion US dollars. They are the most popular and powerful celebrity couple in the United States. After dating for six years, the two finally got married in 2008 and gave birth to three lovely daughters, forming a happy family of five. It is said that the annual salary of the bodyguards working for them can range from 38,000 to 120,000. US dollars depending on the position. Based on this calculation, their family's spending on security is really not small. Number 8, Pope Francis. 
Pope Francis is the leader of the current Catholic Church and the supreme leader of the Vatican. He was first appointed as a Catholic priest in 1969. On February 28, 2013, the predecessor Pope Benedict XVI abdicated due to his deteriorating health. Francis was officially elected as the new Pope. The outside world generally believes that Francis is a humble and benevolent person. He is called the Pope of the people. He lives a simple life and has a cheerful personality. He is often committed to ecumenical dialogue and opposes hatred. Therefore, people often have physical conflicts with him due to disagreements, and even publicly threaten him, which brings him a lot of potential safety hazards. Generally speaking, whether in Rome, the Vatican or visiting other countries, the Pope has two groups of people to protect him, one group is fully armed bodyguards. And the other group is plainclothes security guards. These individuals were all recruited from different security forces. In addition, the limousines that the Pope rides in every time he parades in the streets are also custom-made by the manufacturer. The interior of the car is equipped with equipment that can prevent attacks from biological and chemical weapons, and the glass around the seats is also explosion-proof and bulletproof. The Pope's personal bodyguards will stand at the front of the car for protection, and the armed police will also help. They are all members of the special team of the Vatican Police Department, with a size of about 130 people. Their responsibility is to protect the safety of the Pope. Their specific division of labor is generally arranged by the Pope's own bodyguard team. Number 7, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather was once a famous boxer in the United States. He moves flexibly on the field, can punch fast or slow, is full of energy, and rarely gets injured. Every time he finishes a game, his face is clean, so everyone sends him the title of pretty boy. From 1996 to 2015, he won a total of five levels of boxing championship gold belts. He came back again in 2017 and competed with the superstar Conor McGregor in a battle of the century. Only winning this game made him earning nearly 300 million US dollars, he also established his own boxing promotion company. With a total net worth of 1.67 billion US dollars. He has repeatedly ranked first in the Forbes athlete income list, and his ability to attract money is unparalleled. Looking back on 10 years of boxing in his career, he has achieved a brilliant record of 50 wins and zero losses. It can be said that he has won many battles. Seeing this, you may feel strange, since he is so powerful, why does he need bodyguards? Because boxing is a sport after all, but sports must have rules. McGregor in the ring can be said to be invincible, but in reality, as a public figure, he still needs professional help. After all, real life is not like a game. No one will count down when you fall down, not to mention that McGregor is rich and rich and doesn't care about money at all, so he offered a high salary of 150,000 US dollars and hired four fat and strong men to accompany him, which is safe and cool. Number 6. Kimberly Kardashian. Kimberly Kardashian, an American entertainment celebrity, fashion designer, model, actor, and entrepreneur, got together with Kanye West in May 2014 and started her third marriage. Kanye West is a well-known male rap singer, music producer, businessman, and fashion designer in the United States. After marriage, the two had four children one after another, but they still show their love frequently, and their net worth has soared to 500 million US dollars. They are also unambiguous in terms of security. Whether they go out or at home, they have four bodyguards to protect them around the clock, and they may increase their manpower when attending events. The residence of their family is also heavily guarded. It is located in a very safe community. Outsiders need to go through two security checks if they want to enter. As a big internet celebrity, Kardashian is well aware of the power of traffic, 
So he hired someone to collect public opinion for them on the internet, and at the same time, he also took care not to overexpose his privacy on social platforms. It is said that in the United States alone, they spend about $7 million a year on security. In fact, there is a reason for this. In early October 2016, when Kardashian was attending Fashion Week in Paris, she was hijacked and kidnapped in her apartment and a large amount of jewelry was stolen. Since then, she has paid more attention to security issues. Number 5, Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, has always been mysterious to the outside world. After the death of his father Kim Jong-il in 2010, Kim Jong-un, who was in his 20s, took on the important task. Since December 2011, to shoulder the great trust of 25 million people of North Korea. In 2018, Kim Jong-un crossed the military demarcation line in Panmunjom, achieved a historic handshake with South Korea President Moon Jae-in, and expressed his willingness to work together to improve relations, which was interpreted as too weak by the outside world. In 2017, Kim Jong-nam, Kim Jong-un's half-brother, was assassinated at a Malaysian airport. The truth is also confusing. According to South Korean media reports, Kim Jong-nam was killed by two North Korea female agents with poison needles, and Kim Jong-nam was once considered the most likely successor to Kim Jong-il. Since he came to power, Kim Jong-un has always maintained a high-pitched state, defending his sovereignty strongly, and has made many enemies along the way. It is said that he has been assassinated many times, which made him super vigilant. Fortunately, he has been in a state of stealth for a while, and only a few public appearances it will also be accompanied by a strong security team. Generally, both the bodyguards running with the car and Kim Jong-un's personal bodyguards are attached to the North Korea staff office. These bodyguards form the first line of defense and are usually recruited from the 100,000-strong North Korea People's Army. The second and third lines of defense are handled by Supreme Guard Command, which ensures the security of the top leader's environment. His personal bodyguards usually appear in suits and ties. Or even Mao suits, communicate with each other through radio headsets, and then use the badges on the clothes as identification, and at the same time use code words or code names. Number 4. Drug Lord Guzman Regardless of the average appearance of this man to make it into this list, everyone can think that he must be not simple. His name is Joaquim Guzman, and he is the number one drug lord in the world. Because he is only 1.68 meters tall, he is nicknamed El Chapo. In the 1980s, he established the largest transnational drug trafficking group in Mexico, Sinaloa Cartel and was involved in various illegal activities including murder, drug smuggling, money laundering, etc. Although he was arrested twice, he was successfully escaped, his experience is even more exciting than the plot of the movie. Guzman's childhood was actually quite miserable, he grew up in poverty. His father was a farmer who made a living growing poppies and marijuana, and would take Guzman with him to the black market to trade. His father would get drunk every day and would beat him up every time he came home. In the 1970s, the teenage Guzman began to set up his own business and joined the Gallardo drug cartel known as El Padrino. Later, he cooperated with the American drug trafficking force Hector Lewis to transport drugs through underground tunnels, submarines and trains, fast shipping to U.S. market. After Gallardo was arrested in 1989, Guzman took control of most of his forces and became the leader of the Sinaloa cartel in one fell swoop. Around 2000, this group has grown to become one of the largest drug trafficking groups in the world. Under their operation, tens of thousands of tons of drugs were smuggled and sold, causing tens of thousands of people to die due to drug crimes. However, Guzman entered the Forbes Rich List in 2009 and 2013 because of his amassing a large amount of wealth, becoming the most powerful person in the world. 
he was arrested for the first time in 1993. Although he was sentenced to 20 years in prison, he lived a very comfortable life in prison. Through bribery, his cell was as luxurious as a five-star hotel, and he even continued to smuggle. In 2001, he bribed the guards and officials to escape from the prison. After escaping from prison, it is said that he spent 5 million US dollars a year to bribe various officials to continue to expand his drug kingdom, and the US government once offered a reward of 8.8 .8 million US dollars to arrest him. After 13 years at large, Guzman was arrested again in Mexico in 2014 with the assistance of the United States, but he escaped again the following year through a tunnel connected to the prison bathroom. In 2016, Guzman was arrested by Mexican police during a shootout, and a year later, in order to prevent him from escaping again, he was extradited to a top security prison in the U.S. state of Colorado. Number 3, a 12-year-old girl in Ethiopia. In everyone's impression, lions are always fierce and aggressive animals. Have you ever thought that they can protect people one day? This amazing thing happened in Ethiopia. A 12-year-old girl was rescued by a lion after she disappeared for seven days. At that time, the police found a scarred girl in the mountains of southern Ethiopia. There were three male lions standing beside her, and they kept on the girl. Wandering around, not only did not hurt her, but it was like standing guard. They turned around and left silently after the police officers arrived, making people feel as if they had completed their mission. So what is going on? It turned out that the girl was abducted by a group of kidnappers seven days ago, after a few days. They have been in the wilderness of the mountain, beating her constantly, forcing her to accept a marriage. The little girl, because of the fear of crying, did not expect her cries attracted three aggressive lions, they roared at the gangsters, scared them to leave the little girl and run, the lions saw the situation did not leave, but has been hovering around her. Wildlife expert Stuart Williams said that the lions did not kill the little girl. Most likely because her cries reminded them of their own lion cubs. As for the final outcome, the little girl was sent to the hospital for treatment, and four of the seven gangsters were arrested, and the whereabouts of the other three are unknown. I don't know if they have been buried in the lion's mouth. Number 2. Bella Hadid Bella Hadid, who has Dutch and Pakistani ancestry is one of the most beautiful and expensive supermodels in the current fashion circle. His father is a Pakistani real estate developer. He is also known as the descendant of Nazareth Sheikh and Prince. He represented Jordan at the age of 43. Participated in speed skating at the Winter Olympics. Under the influence of her father, Bella also had an Olympic dream. Because she liked horse riding since she was a child, she dreamed of becoming an equestrian athlete to compete in the Olympics. However, in 2012, she unfortunately suffered from Lyme disease, which caused muscle fatigue and motor neuritis. After giving up equestrianism, Bella decided to switch to the modeling industry. At this time, her sister Gigi has already made a name for herself in the modeling industry becoming one of the top supermodels in the world. In 2014, after Bella also signed a contract with a modeling agency, she moved to New York and studied photography at the same time. In just a few years, Bella has gradually become the favorite of major Fashion Week brand shows due to her strength. As her reputation grew, Bella's need for security gradually escalated, and she was escorted by bodyguards every time she went out. Of course, Bella also invited big names, including the gold medal bodyguard Simon Newton, who once worked as a bodyguard for Michael Jackson and supermodel Catherine Moss. Before working as a personal bodyguard for celebrities, Simon was a soldier in the British Army and then worked in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now he wears every suit that is specially tailored to conceal a gun inside, and he is able to identify suspicious characters from a kilometer away. 
When a reporter asked him what to do if he found himself in a violent conflict, he advised people not to get actively involved, and if they really can't avoid it. Then to resolve the conflict while ensuring the safety of those they need to protect, seems to make some sense, don't you think? Number 1 Jeff Bezos The founder and CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, worth $124 billion, is fighting to save his life. Not only does he put personal protection in place, but in 2019, he also installed new equipment for his office in the office park at the Seattle headquarters. The 4CM thick fiberglass panel is said to be able to withstand continuous fire from military assault rifles, reaching the highest level of bulletproof and explosion proof. Workers close to Bezos say they understand that their boss has always been proactive when it comes to safety and security. Of course, Bezos doesn't stay in the office all the time. In order to ensure his safety when he travels outside, Amazon will spend another $1.5 million a year as his security expenses. Objectively speaking, Bezos is forced to be so cautious. With the popularity of the internet and social media, people's privacy and personal security are being challenged. Many technology companies have also felt the pressure and have increased their security budgets. Bezos also faces many other challenges than other executives, especially hostile tabloids and some overseas intelligence agencies, who will attack him online and even steal his chat records. Amazon also spends heavily on an army of security contractors, most of whom have backgrounds in the Marine Corps, the U.S. Secret Service or Secret Service, to run the company's top security. Every time Amazon's top executives need to appear in public, the security team will step on the site in advance to check the situation. And they will evacuate the crowd as soon as possible when there are employees making trouble or other emergencies. Of course, they are also the electronic police of executives, who will monitor online public opinion for them, check for targeted hate speech, and then take corresponding countermeasures. Do you suddenly feel that these celebrities are not easy to live? Spending a lot of money is secondary. The key is to rely on money to maintain even the most basic personal freedom and safety, which is indeed a bit ironic. What is your opinion on this? Welcome to share your views in the comment area below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.